fight. What's up guys, Weekly Bass Fishing here. We got another video today. Today, we're gonna show you how to pitch. For those of you who don't know about pitching, pitching's a really good thing when you wanna exactly pinpoint where you're dropping that bait, okay? So what I'm using here is a medium heavy Shimano Claris uh, seven foot rod. I like to use a medium heavy so you can get that kick out of it. Uh, it's using a regular loose bait caster. If you see my videos, this is what I keep in my truck all the time. And I like to practice on this a lot because I use this in my truck all the time. The ones on my boat I've been using for years, but um, it's pretty much that. So what you want to do uh, when you pitch is the whole thing about pitching is you want to take, you know, you want to take your pole here and you want to make sure you can throw it in there, okay? And you want to make sure you can pinpoint where you're putting that bait. Right now I just have a frog on here for weight, okay? But uh, you wanna make sure that you do your swing motion, okay? And when you pitch, your swing motion is just like this, okay? Everything comes from here. So you take it, all right? See that pitch right across the pool right there, okay? Now I'll bring it back in, all right? Now, when you're pitching, Sometimes you get a hole like right in the center you want to get to. So that's when you want to pitch to, okay? And when you pitch, you get you get the pinpoint exactly where that bait's going. All right. Now, right here, I'm just using a regular uh, frog, Lunker's frog. And the best way to practice is to go down on the very end, okay, and put some kind of a bowl down there. All right. You have a bowl down there, and your goal is to make it in that bowl. Okay. That's how you practice pitching. All right, now when you pitch, you want to make sure you hold your bait, okay, about exactly even with your reel, okay? And your whole motion of pitching, okay, your whole motion of pitching is like this, okay? So I'll show you a pitch real fast. All right, make sure I'm not tangled up here. Let me get all untangled. I switched it around real quick here. Okay. So... I'll pretty much show you what you want to do is you want to here's what you want you want to hold it right here you want to take back and as you go you let go and you point the tip of your rod to where you want it to go okay so like right here you take it see I got about I'd say about two feet from the ball that I have out there okay and what you want to do is your goal is to try to get it in that ball okay so take it kind of close, all right? Now I'm aiming for that bowl I got down there, all right? Didn't get it yet. So when you can get your bait in that bowl, you know that you know, you're, 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 you're tuned in, okay? So we're gonna keep trying here to get it in that bowl. You got it pretty close, all right? Try it again. That was pretty close. All right, your whole goal is to get the motion down, okay? Now you don't want to swing high because you don't want that bait going up in the air. You want that bait to kind of get thrown like this, okay? Because when you go up in the air, you're going to catch trees and a bunch of crap and you're going to get pissed off, right? So like I said, small, direct. See that? We just hit the ball. So we got close, right? I'm going to try it again, small, direct, kind of close, and you're just going to keep going until you can get it in that bowl, alright? And once you start getting it in line with the bowl, you'll know you've got your aim right, alright? So I kind of went high there, too far. Now that's what happens when you go too high. You're going to cast real far and you're going to get stuck in a tree, because most of the time when you're doing it, you're trying to get near a tree or something, okay? So we're going to just keep doing that and we're gonna see how long it takes us to get it in that bowl all right kind of close so as you can see 
from the other camera view. Um, getting close to it, but not on. So I'm kind of, I guess I'm kind of moving the tip of the rod. Where the tip of your rod is at is where it's going to go. Okay. And you'll notice when you cast it, before it lands, look where the tip of your rod's at. That's pretty much where it's going to go. Okay. See, I have the tip of my rod right towards the center of that bowl, and it landed right in front of the bowl. Okay. So you want to keep it there. And believe it or not, I'm telling you, when you get done casting, I'll tell you right now, okay, you throw it, all right, keep your stuff there, and you have the tip there, and you look at your tip. My tip is pointed exactly where it landed, and it's right to the right of the bowl. If you close your left eye and keep your dominant eye open, you'll see it's to the right of the bowl. And that's where that, that's where that um, frog went, all right? So just remember, low sweeping, low sweeping, all right? Low sweeping. The whole point is you want to get the tip of that rod right towards your bowl, all right? And we almost got it in there. All right, take it again. And what you want to do is you want to use your thumb to adjust when this thing hits down, because you want it to, you don't want it to really splash hard. You want it to kind of sit on the water and use your thumb. Like in my last video, I told you guys, your thumb controls everything, okay, on the bait caster, okay? So we're gonna continue here. We hit the bowl, that's not bad. Keep going. As you can see, I'm not that very good at pitching. I mean, yeah, I'm getting near the bowl. I mean, if you want to consider that good, I guess. Uh, when you first start off, you probably won't even get near the bowl. You'll probably get over to the side, to the right. As uh, long as you're getting within, you know, a foot from the bowl, you're pretty, you're pretty good. All right. Now what we're going to do is strive to get this thing in there. So we'll just keep casting. And this is practice, man. It's what you do on a day when you can't fish. Come outside. I mean, you don't have to have it near a pool like mine. I just have it near the pool because it's in the backyard. But, you know, just, I was doing it on the grass. I had the cable guy come over and just look at the cable lines in the house. And I was out there just talking to him doing it on the grass, okay? There we go. We got one in the bowl. That's what you're striving for. And when I looked, I had the tip of my rod right at that bowl. So once you get it in that bowl, okay, you know you've done good, okay? So you're gonna try to keep getting it in that bowl. So, all right, two times back to back in the bowl. So you're starting to get your aim back up, okay? All right, and that's the whole goal here, to get it in that bowl, okay? three times in the bowl, back to back, all right? Let's see how many we can go. So once you're dialed in, you're dialed in, dude, I'm telling you, once you're dialed in, you're dialed in, all right? Oh, well, we won't count that, because I've got my line tangled up here, but we got three in a row, okay? And we're dialed in. We know what we're doing here. And that's, that's where practice comes in, guys. That's where practice comes in, okay? Four times in a row. All right. Well, actually, that went behind it. I didn't count, but that's close enough. Because you got to think, the hole you're trying to cast into is not that big, all right? But like I said, you see, I got three in a row. When you get three in a row going, keep going. Go for four in a row. Go for five in a row. Because you got to realize, when you actually get out there and you have that chance to make that cast, you want to make sure the first one counts. If you start splashing that water around, you're going to spook the fish. The whole point is to creep up to these fish, to pitch get it where you want it to be at and this is how you practice pitching okay you put a bowl on at the end you try to pitch into that bowl i'm here i'd say about i don't know 30 feet away and you practice pitching into that bowl when you get it into that bowl three or four times you know you're dialed in all right well i hope that this tip helped you guys out once again like i always say if you're new here to the channel like and subscribe it's greatly appreciated hit that bell icon in the bottom to keep you updated when we put new videos up. Also, hit the thumbs up. That also put us in the algorithm so more of my videos can get put up. Um, I will have some links on the bottom, of um, Amazon affiliate links. If you want, I'll have a link to uh, the frog that I was using. It's a perfect weight, the frog. Usually you're doing it with jigs, but the frog is a perfect weight. Uh, and I'll see if I can have a link to the reel I was using and stuff like that. But, you know, this is practice, man. You want to catch those fish in those hot areas? 
when you're at home doing nothing, you want to practice. Practice, practice, practice. Go outside. Go in the grass. Pitch, pitch, pitch. Pitch to that hole. All right? So, once again, thanks for watching. Beagler Outdoors, out.